What's up, brothers? Nathan here from Live Bearded, and I'm coming to you today with five hacks for your mustache. Now, the first hack we're going to go over today is just about basic styling. Now, the mustache is the center of your face. It's the focal point. It really, really, really can help to draw everything together. So having it look right goes a long way towards the overall appearance of your beard. But the barrier for people a lot of times on the first time is just not being able to style it at all. So I'm going to go over these hacks with you today. Hopefully they'll help you get your mustache game where you want it. So if your mustache is down and flat and just kind of looking formless like this, the first place you need to start is mustache wax. I like my live beard mustache wax because it's just really easy to apply. It's just a nice little chapstick style too. Just a little bit goes a long way. You don't want to paint it down. It's just kind of a nice little layer. And then I like to get the underside and the tails as well. I think that kind of helps give some extra hold. Once you have the mustache wax in, working in a little bit, and then you want to come out slightly rolling and then as you get to the ends it's like a little snapping motion and that'll give you the little tails and there boom it's that easy just for kind of the full natural look now if you're wanting to go into a much harder curled look uh, i would recommend using a little bit more wax uh, I don't typically use the chapstick style applicator when I'm doing it that way. Uh, what I'll do is I take the cap off here and I'll actually just scrape it off with my thumbnail. And that'll give me a much bigger chunk to use. So when you want that harder curl, you, you want to use a little bit more wax. So I'll usually waxy up my hands a little bit, kind of work it down to clear there. And what you want to do We've really worked that into the stash. And this can actually be really helpful in training your mustache originally as well. When you're first growing out your stash, and you're first starting to style it, if you want those tails to stick up a little bit better on their own, I find that just a few days of this can be really helpful. And the biggest problem people have a lot of times with the harder curled stash is it likes to fall forward. So if you kind of Purse your lips in a little bit while you're doing the curling. Then when you have your face normal, it should make it come back up. And so the styling is a little bit differently on this. Um, with the other bigger full natural look on the handlebar, you're just giving kind of that snap. But for the curls, I actually use my thumbs and I'll hold on to the ends here and just twist it around. There you go, much harder curled mustache. And again, you can use this as a training tool. Do this every once in a while to help train your ends to kind of flip out on their own, even if you're doing the bigger, fuller, natural stash. I also prefer to use this styling of my stash when I'm trimming, just because it keeps the longer tails out of the way some for me while I trim. Hack number two is what I like to call the kissing cut. Now, nobody likes to lean in for a kiss and get a mouthful of hair. I know my wife complains about it. I'm sure some of you guys have heard it before as well. So what I like to do to make sure that I'm not having that problem is what I call the kissing cut. Now to do the kissing cut, I usually will use my smaller pair of clippers. I use the wall ones here. And I wanna just clean up the hairs up to my upper lip right about the width of my nostrils. And as you can see, brought the upper lip back, much more kissable. Hack number three. I see so many guys who have their mustaches just blending into their beard and it gets kind of messy and, and they look like they're all one entity. And a lot of guys want to know, how do you get that defined look to where you really look like the mustache almost sits on top of your beard? And for that, we use the third hack, the defining cut. Now, for the defining cut, 
what you want to do is you want to get in under the tails of the mustache and just clean up these strays here. You want it to look like it sits on top, then you need to kind of just cut these back to where they're even with your beard. You don't want to cut them down to skin and completely divide it out. I mean, you may. I know a couple of guys who rock that style and it really works for them. But for me personally, I like them to be connected still, but have the division so that they really look strong. So I usually just use a trimmer here. Come in, I'll hold the stash up out of the way. Even just those little bits of hair that you cut off will really make it stand out, be more defined, and give it more shape. For the fourth hack, uh, the tails. I like to have a nice full look on my stash like anybody else, but just like any other hair on my body, it grows at uneven speeds. And so what ends up happening to me is the ends of my mustache get little tails that are much thinner. You can see how the length is kind of thinner on there and it gets thicker as it goes. So if you really want a good full appearance to your mustache, what you do is you trim back to that length where they're all caught up. So I'm just gonna comb those out a little bit more again real quick, because I don't want to keep the hard curled stash in today. And you can see when you look at it, kind of that spot where it gets a little less full. So what you want to do, is you want to take your scissors. I like my little detailing scissors. They really help me get a good cut. Go to that spot, and I just cut straight across. Same thing for the other side. We've got a little straggler on this side. Much better, much cleaner, much fuller ends. They don't look wispy. Now, the real danger here is playing this game of ping pong where you're going back and forth. Oh, this one's longer, this one's longer, this one's longer. And before you know it, you've ping ponged yourself down to a mustache about this wide. And I don't need to explain to you why none of us should be wearing a mustache this wide. Get it close, but don't be overly perfectionist about it. We are our own harshest critics when it comes to our facial hair. We look at this stuff way closer than anybody else ever will. So get them pretty close to even and it should help a lot. Now mustaches are a little tricky, guys. You don't have to take much off. You saw we just took very little off in that trim and it already made my mustache look significantly smaller. So be careful, take your time. You can always take more off, but you cannot put more back on. Now, for the fifth hack, we're gonna bounce out to the kitchen. Now this fifth hack has to do with drinking beverages, adult or otherwise. A couple of years ago, Guinness did a study that found that beer drinkers with facial hair lose an average of 0.56 milliliters out of every pint of beer to their facial hair. Now, a good deal of that could be avoided. Now, 0.56 milliliters, I know it doesn't sound like a lot, but when you total that up with the average beer drinker drinking 180 pints of beer a year, that's a pint and a half going to waste. And you could stop that just by drinking properly. Now, I didn't think there was any more appropriate cup to pull out than my mustache mug here. And for the purposes of this video and a better demonstration, I filled it with milk. Since I have a black beard, the milk will be a little bit more visually rewarding. We all have been there. We've all gone to take a drink from our beer or milk or whatever it may be and just came back out with our stash dunked and that stash drip going down. And they've got devices out there, like the mustache, the, what are they, uh, the whisker dams that they've got out there. And some guys really like those, but for me, that's just not practical. I can't carry that thing around every time I want to drink. So I had to learn how to drink properly with a mustache. Now, if you just drink normally, you'll see the whole stash there is covered. And I don't want that happening every time. And that's where you lose that 0.56 milliliters per pint. Now the key to drinking with a mustache is actually to purse your lips, to make almost a kissing face before you drink. Now, I know it seems ridiculous, but when it mugs to your face, no one's gonna see you make that face. So, give your drink a little kiss and it'll thank you for it. No sash strip. 
Anyway, guys, those are five hacks to help you with your mustache. If anybody else has any tips on other cool mustache hacks you've picked up over the years, drop them in the comments and we'll get you all the information you need. Keep growing out those beautiful stashes, brothers. They are really the centerpiece to a good beard for me and I can't wait to see what you've got going on. So show me your stash down in the comments as well. And as always, brothers, live bearded.